Nonsense! Just hand that over! No! I won't give it to you! I need to protect this controller! I need to for Kamora's sake! What are you talking about? She was going to destroy it! That's not how she really feels! I'm sure she's actually thinking that... that she doesn't want to do it! Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how! I just know! Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of Escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. <clears throat> so, how about this? <gasps> That's right! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, you want to trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're... Telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice! Fine then. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it! Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because... I'm taking Kamaru home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules! Who... who cares about your damn rules?! You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice! I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind! Both are... both are important to me! So... so... I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already! Just hand over the controller! I'll crush it! I'll never... I'll never hand it over! Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but... I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so... I'll never hand it over. Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! <laughs> This feeling... 
<laughs> that hurts. Wh what? You you hit me! My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Now come on. Hit me back. <sighs> Why? Isn't it obvious? It... It makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So just... For now... If you hit me, we're square, right? So... Hit me! Fine. <laughs> that was pretty strong. Jeez! You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do, right now? Have you decided? Yeah. I have. I want to protect both. I'm not gonna play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. like it's targeting us or maybe it's aiming for the controller what should we do fight I'll fight I've decided I'll fight to protect everyone Toko will you help me isn't it obvious it's normal for friends to help each other Maru, let's show them. You and I, the power of the Ultra Dangerous Sisters. Huh? What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not satisfied? Not good enough for you? <laughs> um, how about we try to top that? Info. You're right. Is this old lady just out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> They're tracking you! No use running! You have to repel them! <laughs> See ya!
website for more info. anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. This town is doomed. I'll fall into despair. No, that's wrong. Damn it, Kamaru. You go, girl. I'm on the fast track now. Tragedy!
for more info. Kamaru and I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. I found it. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too! Lives on. Kidding me? No, Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. That's. Uh, and now it's over. Uh, it's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just—it's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill, Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. At this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage, future Foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two. Does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. 
You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Though I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Here you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now, I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye bye forever. Brother! Don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You aren't satisfied with this, right? You aren't just gonna walk away. I don't want it to end like this either! Big Sis Junko would hate me if I let it end like this! Hope. Despair. I don't care anymore. <laughs> so this is what despair feels like. <laughs> There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? What happened? I... I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko... I... I'm staying in this town. Ah. <sighs> 
I, I finally realize you actually make me angry and happy each time. You have more influence over me than anyone. Let's be together for the rest of our lives. Grow old together. Die together. For now, we depart. Take off towards our future. Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed, with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So... I need you to continue working hard, so that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you, so I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross. <laughs> Are they still at it with that success or whatever? You're talking too loud. They'll hear you. They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Well, when you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. Trying to create a successor while the original still exists? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Not just the kids. The adults are idiots, too. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. Despite how you look, you sure are wicked inside. Even if the outside's white, the inside's pitch black. You a rice ball or something? I may be wicked, but you are too. After all, we are. No, not we. Maybe I, or maybe it's me. 
<laughs> well, they're pretty much the same. White despair, black hope. In the end, neither won. But I guess that works too. I mean, I didn't really give a damn about this town from the beginning. The fact that those guys will take an interest in this place will yield a much more fruitful harvest. Hey, don't you think so? Personally, I think they did a pretty good job for a group of kids. Hey, hey, don't you think so? Thanks to them, the preparations are nearly complete. Laying the foundations for the final match. It's so despairingly perfect. Hey, 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 don't you... Oh, you're so forceful. What, what? Am I being too noisy for you? I see. I didn't know you still felt such emotions. Or perhaps you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. I hope you can at least have a little fun. I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict. I was waiting to hear from you. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like... the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because 
I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Biakia? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the Remnants of Hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of Master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared. And I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. No. I think I got it from you. Huh? Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than in prison life, regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad! Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Toko... Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be Master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made, no complaining. But... you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Master Biakuya! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away, just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope, like you. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair. And come home safe. Uh, but... You don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad, I didn't find anything. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means... There's a chance they're alive and well somewhere, right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video's getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. 
see you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well, she surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in so I can end it properly with my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah.
Alright then. Hey! You aren't ready yet! D don't shout so early in the morning. You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring, I can't get a good night's sleep. I am so not snoring! But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? <laughs> well... I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault! Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off! What? But you're the one who woke up late! Hey! I told you to wait! 